As Nikki explains, Vargas is a freak, but in a good way. He's proud of his violent, maniacal side. He can't even tie his shoes, but he can build a thermonuclear bomb from common household items and set a fortress on fire before you can say Werner von Braun. He may be an idiot savant, but he's got great hair. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pandemonium 2. We just kind of outright killed Stan in cold blood for no apparent reason, and we get to move on to Oyster Desoyster. It should not be that- that's not a word. It's not a word. Totally not a word, and it's also completely disconnected from where we were before. But then again, we ended on a cush a couch cushion? A chair cushion? So I shouldn't be complaining too much. Now, honestly, this is one of... This is the first level of this world that I actually like, I guess. I guess. The music is actually something I can point out. It's very subtle. It's very much like um, what Fungus Grotto was. Very subtle, very cool. And let's get this key to collect more treasure. Unless I honestly really screw up really fast. But yes, this is a, this actually this area is a just a little taste of what you're going to experience later on. Um, because there's different variations of the rooms, especially this one. But we got all the treasure, so we might as well leave, which sends us all the way back to the beginning of the level. So. We get to make our way up here. Mm, well, maybe yes. Yeah, there's two pieces of treasure here. And what the hell? Oh, I can see outside. Yay! Yeah, one thing I one problem with this level is that it has really bad clipping issues with itself. And what? That's the backbone. That's creepy. I should have put this up on Halloween. No. But yes, there's actually no reason to be in this room any longer, so let's move on. And why is there lava here? Can I get an explanation on that? Um, probably not. Seeing as I have no idea where we are. But yes, these wonderful vines of... I, I want to say that's a jellyfish. A jellyfish with one eye. But here's a fun thing you can do. If you get... If you get stuck in the top, because if you double jump into it, it's fun. And ah, Nikki, Nikki, hey Nikki, what up? That was weird. I completely lost control. That is, that was not intentional, but really interesting. I had never had that happen when I went over top this thing. Sometimes you can get stuck on top of it and look like you're on why is she why am i thinking that she's posed on a stripper pole i gotta get her off of there but if you can get stuck in it and press the jumpy enough times or maybe not come on there we go if you, there we go if you press it enough times um the game just wigs out and teleports you which way and pretty much back to the beginning of the beginning of the room so there's your fun tidbit for this level. It, why am I finding instabilities? Now, one one thing we do want for this level is to have some fire with us. If you're not really well versed in this game, having the fireball with you is going to be very very helpful. Now we had we got a key which opened up this door. We go into this door, we find another key which brings us to the best room in the game. If you have, disclaimer, if you have epilepsy, please uh, pass the video, I'll put a timestamp on it. But this is the best room, in my opinion, of the entire game, because look at it, it is colorful as shit. Uh, and you can just get into the middle and you can have a whole psychedelic freak out. Like, uh, I just want to stay in this room forever. It's so good. <laughs> Uh, now, you may be wondering how the hell do I get out of this room, because there's no exit. 
Well, you're actually supposed to stand on the very middle, and eventually the spinning will act as a geyser, which will send you up. And out. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure as hell did. That's one fun thing. That is one fun thing about this level, honestly. <laughs> anyway, there's no reason to be in this part of the room anymore, so let's go down. Now, if you had no fireball, you're still able to get through this. And now I have no fireball, so I'm going to be showing off the hard way. And we're outside, apparently. And compared to what the... I'm reluctant to use the word sky. But anyway, the color of the ceiling, the sky, and... What? Pop in, pop in. But it's changed. It was nighttime, and now it looks like it's daytime. I honestly don't know. But there's jellyfish here. Let's move on. Not wasting everybody's time. Now I actually have to do this like skillfully, and I'm not good at doing that skillfully. Because <laughs> you really just have to be really good at avoiding these things. Not setting a good example. Well, I really hate these vines. I really do. I hate everything. <laughs> I hate everything in this level. Even these things. I'm not particular to them. You instantly grab on and you're taken higher into the level. The gimmick of this level is pretty much ver um, a lot of vertical climbing. Yay, life. One life. One thing about life. The <sighs> thing about this thing is that it's the only way up in two instances of this level. I want all the treasure? Come on. Dang it. I want the goodies. I want goodies. Ah! And you can't touch the top of it unless you bounce off and... If you're unlucky, you're gonna be falling down again. Great. <laughs> I want... I want it! I want it! <laughs> I need it! Alright, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Can you even tell me what this is, other than just like some weird plant? Oh well. Moving on! This is an interesting thing because... See where that jellyfish is? We're actually higher up in level, even though we can't really notice that right away because of the camera angle. We can't get back down there because these two things just lead to pits for no reason whatsoever. Now it's time for this fun part, which is easy, and I pull it off very well! Very good. Way to go, me. Now, I never act. Yeah, I actually never talked about the bubbles. The bubbles are interesting. You can get a maximum of three uh, jumps on these bubbles. However, when you're jumping on these, you're completely safe. However, they take away from the amount of bubbles that you get when they actually appear. So if you bounce on it twice before the bubble shows up, you only get one extra bounce higher. Fairly simple, but I, of course, make everything way too complicated. Now this area is going to be fun because I have to deal with that stupid thing. And I actually have to do this twice because I have to head down here to get this treasure, even though I didn't have to. Why am I not remembering this level very well? Like, I like this level, It's it's got good things to it, even though it's surreal. And don't worry about where you fall, if you fall down here, you won't get hurt by the lava-ish stuff. Lava in quotes, I guess I would call it. And also these these jellyfish are also very interesting. They act as geysers, tele teleporting suction geysers, vacuums, whatever. But if you get up to the top of them, they will grab you and stop the levitation from happening. Which is a wonderful detail. I kind of like that. Now I actually have to want to go down here because there is more treasure here and a life that I don't need. And more clipping. You can see the top of this dome from the outside because you can't actually see the top of the dome from the inside. It's great! It's 
So great. <laughs> I don't need that life anyway. Now here's an interesting thing. It's a 2D platformer, but we're heading left. Madness! And don't anybody make that joke or I'm killing you. <sighs> now somebody's gonna make the joke. I'm gonna smack him. Now here is an interesting two pieces of treasure. How many how much light do I have? Oh good, I can only take one more hit. I should be able to do it pretty fine. Thing is you can't avoid taking a hit. At least I don't think you can. To get the two pieces of treasure. Get on a jellyfish. Thank you. Here we go. Alright. Now to get to the rest of the level without taking any hits. Which shouldn't be too hard because there's only two screens left. However, this... To the uninitiated, this room can be a bit of a pain. Our goal is to get through this door. You wouldn't know it's a door unless I actually told you or you're really paying attention to the level design. But the only way to get through the door is to... Whoop, the easy does it. I don't... Whoop. What was that? Oh, it was outside. Okay. I can see outside. I want to go outside. The only way to get through. Hi, Nikki. Looks like she has rubber boots on. The only way to get out is to press this green thing. When you press it, you have to run like mad in order to get through the door before it closes. You're given no room for error to get through this thing. And a lot of the times you're just going to clip through if the door is closing by the time you get through. Which means you succeed nonetheless. Now we just get to do a lot of, um, bouncing on jellyfishes. Jelly... Jellyfish. I guess the fish... fishes plural still applies with jellyfish. But we just have to get through here. Which is absolutely no problem. And here's some wasps which apparently are retextured for some reason or another. And a new enemy! A Trooper Goon! I, I, I want to say that they're redone... Is it a Star Wars reference or is it just me? It looks like he's holding a lightsaber that's not turned on, but he's too stupid to turn it on. And it looks like he's wearing a Darth Vader mask. It's really weird, and it takes two hits to take him down, which leads to this glowing ball of light which sends fairies around. They look like fairies. Which go in here, to the end of the level. It, it's an interesting level. I, I, I kind of like it. It's different. It's interesting. It's vertical, which is something that... um. I haven't seen a lot, a lot, but yeah, I kind of like it. And it also transitions to the next level. Now you see, when we exited the level, the level exit was actually surrounded by a column of puzzle pieces. And you can see that the path, the righteous path, turns into a bridge of puzzle pieces, which brings us to our next level. That's a cool looking swirly there, game. Welcome to the Puzzle Wood, which we're gonna take on next time. Why are there trees in space? And there were no oysters in the. So many questions and so many. Anyway, see you next time, everyone.